I've been meticulously rummaging through Wish, and I've found 10 of the weirdest, most cursed, cheap Lego knockoffs. Lego tends to be very expensive, so I was wondering if it was possible to find a cheap, more affordable alternative to satisfy my needs. Make sure you watch until the end, because I bought a whole Lego city of knockoffs, and I'll be comparing each location to its real-world counterpart. I drove an hour to get the world's most disgusting chicken nuggets. How can you get a chicken nugget so wrong? Previously, I ordered Lego sets from Timu. Those were painful to build. Microscopically sized Lego. Is Wish gonna be slightly better, or is it basically just the same as Timu? Let's find out. To start off with, I bought a ton of buildings off Wish. While I'm showing off my entire Lego city, keep an eye out for these celebrities I bought off Wish that are lurking somewhere throughout this video. What's really interesting is just how far Wish is willing to go to avoid copyright claims. For example, to the naked eye, this might look like any old run-of-the-will Walmart. Home sweet home. It's got the same color scheme, the same exquisite logo, shopping carts in all the wrong places, but it's actually a war mark. Same, but different. Not a turn off for me. In fact, I find it charming how Wish embraces the fact that it's a knockoff. It amuses me. Reminds me of my favorite grocery store that I never frequent, Aldi. I also find Aldi and its collection of bold knockoffs very commendable. Some freak must be buying this stuff. Unlike Aldi, my Walmart build looks very fancy. It's got a fountain, some shrubbery, some benches. It's two stories. The fountain won't stay on. I tried and I tried for a whole minute straight and then I gave up. Viva la vida. There's something so comforting about a Walmart. Look at this cursed Walmart freak that came with this set. What do you think he even is? Is he like one of those bodyguards at Walmart? One of the people that checks your receipt? I'm curious to see how this scam compares to its real world counterpart. How do you think we should even like compare these to their real world counterpart? Parts. I don't know, you just go and you see how accurate it is. You're a goddamn genius! So we're gonna like rate them, I guess, based on what they actually, like on what they accuracy. have in common. Rate them on accuracy. Look, I found a bush. Bruh. Carts everywhere. Look at them. <laughs> Carts in all the wrong places. Where's the benches? There's benches. There's benches usually at Walmart. I've woken up on a Walmart bench before. You've woken up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside. Both Walmart and Walmart seem to always be out of stock of things, so I guess that's pretty similar. Look, there's nothing. I don't think they have any bodyguards at Walmart. They have their receipt bodyguards. So, if I were to rate this on accuracy, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Looks pretty good to me. So far, so good. But not for long. Because the next bizarre Lego building in my dream Lego city is a McDonald. Huh? The famous Golden Arches. You can't miss them. I'm gonna be really harsh on this one because I love McDonald's. I'm its biggest fan. I eat it basically every day. God, it's so good. I love McDonald's. Like, I... We used to have it every Friday when I was a kid. I've even sat, I sat in Ronald McDonald's lap once. You sat in his lap? Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this? There's a street light outside, a cash register inside. Pretty accurate if you ask me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this little guy is supposed to be Ronald McDonald. This little thing here. Should I add like a little ball pit? That would've been nice. That would be cool. I give this scam a 10 out of 10. I expected no less from McDonald. One place where no one expects much from is KFC, or as Wish likes to call it, KFE. Inside there's a cash register, some dining troughs downstairs and upstairs. There's even a whole penthouse suite that's reserved for the Colonel. This is fancy stuff. I haven't had KFC in probably like 10 years, but from what I remember it was pretty good. Seems like maybe things have changed lately. Looking at KFCs near me, some are rated 1 star, some 1.5 star, nothing above 2 stars. You know what? After seeing all the bad press my local KFC is getting, I'm curious to see how bad it really is. One hour later. It even smells weird. We literally had to drive like an hour to get to this Ooh. KFC. It's like the only KFC around here. No one eats KFC around here. I, don't know, I wonder why. We're about to find out why. Oh, Valentine's Day. They do have a bucket. Leave the bucket. The accuracy is insane. Oh my god. Oh. I drove an hour 
to get the world's most disgusting chicken nuggets. <laughs> they taste like... Yeah. How can you get a chicken nugget so wrong? The next stop on my tour of Wish Lego knockoffs is... Starback. Personally, I'm more of a Dankin' Donuts kind of guy, but I couldn't find that Lego set, so here we are, settling for less. Starback looks very fancy. Starbucks also looks very fancy. Like I said, a lot of these knockoffs are two stories. Usually Starbucks isn't two stories, but my local Target is two stories, and it has a Starbucks stall in it, so I'm gonna say that's accurate. Two stories it is. And right outside this two-story Starbucks, there's an actual standalone Starbucks that has a fire hydrant outside of it, just like its Lego knockoff counterpart. Wow. Inside the Starbucks, there's just tables and chairs and a cash register. The usual. Tables. Chairs. Starback is probably the most accurate knockoff of them all so far. But hold your horses. This next Lego knockoff might just take the cake. Nakey. How do you think they came up with this one? Like, have you ever even seen a Nike store? Nike? <laughs> Nike store? I've seen a lot of Nike clothes and Nike shoes and, you know, whatever else they sell. But never have I ever seen a standalone Nike store. I don't think they even exist. They especially aren't orange and have a giant shoe on top. So for that reason and that reason alone, I give this scam a well-deserved one-star rating. It's time to move on to the more stressful and insanely detailed and out-of-place LEGO builds. <laughs> Up to this point, all the LEGO builds were not so bad. They were pretty chill. Nothing too crazy. I think I built all of those in probably a day. But these next five Lego sets made me cry. This one's called the Toy Shop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this is any ordinary toy shop. The amount of detail in this build is bonkers. You can't even see all the details. Inside there's an Iron Man mask and a Batman mask. There's a car. There's cakes. Some robot things hanging. A bucket of weapons. A robot on top. A cat. A bunny. There's even a paraplegic orphan child. Everything is so tiny and so detailed and unbearably frustrating. And that's not even the worst build I had to live through today. It only gets worse from here. But moving on, taking a slight detour to Japan. Japan is famous for a whole bunch of weird stuff. They've got capsule hotels, restaurants run by robots, and vending machines bursting with anything and everything you could ever imagine. So needless to say, these Lego sets are gonna be just as weird as you would expect from Japan. This is a Japanese fish market. This is gonna blow your mind. It's so detailed and so so fragile. You don't even want to breathe near it. I keep this one in a non-ventilated area. Let's take a peek inside and browse all their wares. There's a dining area with some sake. I can't read the sign up there, but I like to imagine it's a menu. There's a tank of fresh crabs, depending on if you like yours raw or baked. There's a butcher's table. That's what I need in my kitchen. I just love how outside there's a water tank and whatnot, and then on the inside there's an actual hose that connects and comes out the front. They really thought of everything. If you look closely enough, you'll even spot the neighborhood kitten, Poppy. And I love this poster of this derpy fish. There's of course tons of raw fish in this Japanese fish market. I think I'm in love. It's pretty satisfying to look back on it now that it's been some time and I've had a chance to heal from the whole building process. Looking at it is much more appealing than building. Building it was a nightmare. Speaking of nightmares, look who's Rowan in. I call this freak Rowan. <laughs> He's got a spiky updo and a soul patch. He sources all of the fish himself. If you think Rowan is cursed, wait till you see his wife. She owns the horse hotel we'll be visiting later in this video. But first up, something a little more my speed. The candy shop. This is also very detailed. They've got sour candy and spicy candy and gummy candy and cotton candy. They've even got a giant sucker like you stuck right on top. How accurate is this compared to its real world counterpart? They've both got a lot of candy, so there's that. While at the candy shop, I picked up some freeze-dried candy candy and now I'm curious to do a blind taste test. Does freeze drying candy completely change the taste of it? Does it make the flavor unrecognizable? I'm about to find out. Oh, wow, they smell really good. Whoa, I don't know. It just tastes like strawberries. You know, I can't decide if I like it or I don't. It's so cute. You can still kind of see the face on the gummy bear. Look, it looks so derpy. That's cute. I like that. Next stop on my Japanese getaway is this horse hotel from hell. I don't know what the purpose of a horse hotel serves and I don't think I want to know. But inside it's got what you'd expect from a place called the horse hotel. Some horses in a stable. Carrots in a barrel, flowers in a pot, a whip, a pitchfork, and some handcuffs. My favorite part was this giant decapitated horse head mounted to the top. He looks like my sleep paralysis demon. Speaking of demons, here's Rowan's wife, Rowena. 
she likes to carry around a whip. Keeps everyone in line. So here's my dream Lego city. It took way too long to build, but I'd say it was worth it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.